Hey everyone, this is Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today we're going to be installing a curved shower bar. Now this is a pretty easy install um, and it gets easier as the cheaper that you buy. A real cheap one is going to be really easy to install. All you got to do is tighten it up against the shower walls. Um, the high end, if you want to call it a high end for a shower bar, um, they're going to secure to the wall above the shower or you could secure to the shower but um, I'm not going to cut holes in my shower. Um, so either way, they're both pretty easy installs. Um, for the higher end ones, really all you're going to need is a screwdriver, maybe a drill, um, a level if you need one, um, just to level your shower bar, and then drywall anchors if you're going if you're not going into a stud and you're just going straight into drywall. Now, okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to verify what we're screwing into, right? So. If we're going above the shower, really, we want to verify if this is there's a stud back here or if it's just, just drywall. If it's just drywall, that's where we want to use our anchors. Uh, in my case, there's actually a stud back here. Um, and the way I figured that out is you, if you have a stub finder, you can do that. Otherwise, listen for the hollow tone. Um, and you'll hear that right there, and that's that means there's no stud back there. I get closer, you can hear the difference there. That'll tell you there's a stud back there. But then all you want to do, and, and because I have a stud there, I'm just going to use some drywall screws. Now, if you have some, if you have a better option, use a better option. Um, if you get some other screws, that that's fine too. Really doesn't matter that much. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put us up here like that, find ourselves a spot. that down now again if there is a a lot of these come with a uh, template if you need one and you can use one I'm not too terribly worried about that um, try to get it try to get uh, try to get it plumb as much as you can but not, not something I'm really worried about So that's our that's our first one there. Okay, so now we got our first piece all connected to the wall and everything. We're just going to connect our two bars like this. So we're going to connect them in the middle like that, and you'll see the way they slide together. Um, it's really just right there. Um, one slides inside the other. So now that we got those, now we got those connected. It really should be able to hold itself. So you're going to hold it up, and then you're going to find your spot on the wall. And like I said, unlike on the other side of me, I've got a stud back here, so I can just go drill, drill straight in. If you don't, you're going to need drywall anchors. Um, screw it in like so. And again, this right here, you might want to use your level. Um, and yes, it is pink. You're not seeing things. Um, and you're going to move, twist that up. Put that in a little tight. And now you're just going to twist that up and get that level like that. Yep, just like that. And then screw it in. Now I'm not too worried about it, so I'm going to hang. Not a big deal. Now I'll come back. Spot. That's it. And then you're, you're done, basically. Now you just need to take your end caps. Um, again, depends on the brand you have here. And just go ahead and put them on the wall like so. Alright, that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so now that we've got our shower curtain rod actually installed, um, the next question is, alright, how do we get our shower curtain on? Um, so, a lot of times you can buy the, the hooks like this that are not fully enclosed, they easily slide on, they might have a clip on them, but you can put them on easily like that. But there are some that are fully enclosed um, that aren't really easy to get on, because these are a little bit larger larger bars. Um, so a quick way to do it, um, 
is actually just to pull your cap off like this. Right? Pull your cap off. And then right here where it connects is going to be a little bolt or bar or whatever. You, I'm not sure. It depends on the brand you have. But it's going to be pretty easy to take out. You're going to either take a screwdriver or uh, your drill and just reverse it back out. Now, I'm, I don't have small hands, so I'm actually going to take a pair of pliers here. And I'm just going to wiggle that out. And then all you got to do is push it back, and there you go. You can take that off like that. And you're just going to take your hooks on the end here. Slide them on like that. Now it's on. And then all you got to do is put it, put it back in there like that. Put your, uh, put your bar or whatever you got back in there. And then screw it back in. And that's it. Put your cap back on. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you like and subscribe below to get the newest videos and the most recent updates. And make sure you turn on notifications to get alerted as soon as they come out.